Colorado's constitution is probably talked about more than most other states, seeing how we're constantly amending it at the ballot box. But you know, we never talk about our state's two other constitutions. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger takes a step behind the camera lens to give us a little history lesson. It's a hugely important foundational document. December 20th, 1875, the Constitutional Convention was convened. This was the actual document that was signed at the Constitutional Convention. This is the original state constitution of Colorado. My name is Julie Peterson. I am a public historian and exhibit developer here at History Colorado. The constitution itself is actually um, very well preserved. It's got its own page protectors. It's still a fragile, um, over 100 year old document. It's on loan to us from the state archives. The state constitution was written over a period of about three months. There shall be a seal of the state, which shall be kept by the Secretary of State and shall be called the Great Seal of the State of Colorado. One of the things that was up for debate during the convention was how to distribute the state constitution to people in Colorado who were non-native English speakers. In the 1870s, about 17% of the population of the state of Colorado were foreign born and a good majority of those folks were actually German speakers. About 20% of the state population was either born in Mexico or in the New Mexico Territory. And so most, if not all, of those people would have spoken Spanish. They decided that the Constitution would be published in English, German, and Spanish. This way, everyone who lived in Colorado, regardless of their origin, had access to these laws. Isn't that interesting? The German and the Spanish versions of Colorado's Constitution are on display at the El Pueblo History Museum in Pueblo. The English version will be at History Colorado for the next few years, unless the state legislature has something to say about that. Some masterful camera work there by our Marshall Zelling. I like the music as well. Set, set the mood. Tell me about this plan to put the Constitution at the state capitol. Well, it's very Mission Impossible style yeah. where you need to spend a lot of money at first. There's an estimate of up to $70,000 right now, which would be a little bit too much. Three cameras, uh, UV protected, oh, light yeah. protected, a humidor. You'd probably have to go to Coors Field to learn a little bit about that. But it has to be in a safe environment at the Capitol to make sure it doesn't get messed with. What I would like to see is one of those like mechanical functions that I could actually flip through the pages, which would probably add another couple thousand dollars to that tab. It probably didn't help that that guy broke in and <laughs> smashed the bus just really recently. Recently. But this is just the original Constitution, mm -hmm. not the amendments through the years. Oh, and that was a, an interesting point that was brought up as this was debated at the Capitol, that yeah. it is the original one because you would need a forklift to get the current one. Sure, sure. You Doug, Douglas Bruce would have to brush up on his Espanol to rewrite Tabor in Spanish. All right. Thank you, Marshall.